Natasha Robinson, great writer at The Australian, says the switch today, which was announced this afternoon, left doctors struggling to communicate the new advice to patients. GP surgeries were inundated with phone calls from concerned older people who had yet to receive their vaccine and from those who'd already received one dose of AstraZeneca. There's many people wondering what to do now, said the Melbourne GP and former federal AMA President Mukesh Haikawal, uh, whose surgeries were fielding constant phone calls. Um, Look, there that, are issues. That's a serious concern. I mean, yeah. if, the, if the health professionals don't know what's going on, then what chance does the public have? So I really think that the government needs to take uh, you know, the front foot on this with the state governments to make sure that our health professionals are getting all the information and advice, but that advice also needs to be coming out to the public. Because if we don't know what's going on, we're going to be hesitant. We're not going to, we're going to be confused and we're going to be reluctant to get involved in these programs. So the government needs to spend more time, money and effort on communicating with the public. All right. also making sure well, you're a Liberal. You're a Liberal and you're saying, so you're being critical of the government? Well, I'm saying the government can do more in this space. This is an important issue. It's affecting the entire world and everyone in Australia. And we need to give this the number one priority to make sure that we have the best system possible and the best uh, approach to this. And if we need to make changes, we need to make changes. But we also need to invest the funds into this and the resources to make sure that it goes smoothly. OK, so more? More Definitely. mRNA vaccines, Moderna, Pfizer? Definitely, you need to have more choice in terms mm -hmm. of the vaccines. And we should... Look, I understand originally we didn't have that... You know, we sort of went with AstraZeneca and that was where we made our commitment. We've now learnt from that and I think we need to now quickly pivot to this new vaccine. Natasha Robinson writes in The Australian Tomorrow, the changing advice around AstraZeneca comes at a time when the vast majority of people who've been vaccinated have only received one shot. Therein lies the biggest concern around the recommendation that only those aged over 60 should get AstraZeneca. And she writes, how many older Australians who've had one shot of AstraZeneca will now have their confidence rocked such that they don't turn up for their second dose? That's the issue looming large for the federal government. She says there are a number of factors that anyone hesitant to get their second AstraZeneca dose should bear in mind. And this is important. I'm going to read this out before we move on. She says, firstly, there have been zero reports of thrombosis with... Oh, I always find this hard to say, thrombocytopenia, um, the rare clotting syndrome, the TTS syndrome. So there have been zero reports of TTS that is causing concern following second doses of AstraZeneca in Australia. She said that might not reassure some, given the number of people who've received second doses in Australia is very small. But she's right to point it out. She's been across this issue from the start um, that that will be a, a looming problem for those people... In Canada, I know, to have been reading widely, um, they said the, uh, that people who received their first shot then could go on and have Pfizer and or Moderna as a second shot. We'll see how that plays out. At the moment, the health advice is just to go back and have your second shot. Look, I think most people who've had the first shot are obviously feeling comfortable with yeah. uh, the AstraZeneca and will probably go for the second shot.